All right, fantastic. So we have documents into, well, with populated fields into this room for our good friends Mickey and Minnie Mouse at 123 Main Street. So we have gone ahead with the agency disclosure of having that on there, and this document is ready to get signatures from Mickey and Minnie. So I'll go ahead and select on the agency disclosure statement. I can also change this view too, by the way, that I can see everything in a list or I can see it arrange as icons. So I've selected the agency disclosure. See, I get a couple different options of where what I can do. I can make a copy of it. I can move it um, into a different folder. I can email and send off this document. I believe this will actually send it off to them as just like a PDF or just somebody having access to the document, not with any sort of additional signing uh, privileges. So if you need to send off, uh, say, a contract off to a lender where they're not going to be sending signing anything or sending it to the title company, you can just go ahead and go in here and send off an email so they have access to those documents without signing uh, permissions. DocuSign, this is actually what we're going to be doing in this video, sending it off to Mickey and Minnie. Uh, you can also download the documents as well as PDFs. You can archive this entire room. Uh, you can also unarchive one that is already archived if you're viewing those. Or actually, correction, archive the document or unarchive documents as well. And you can, in this drop down, show me all documents or show me the ones I have archived from my main active view on here. So you won't ever get the opportunity to completely trash and make documents completely disappear. You're going to still have access to them. So. All right, perfect. So let's go ahead and get these sent off to Mickey and Minnie to get their signatures. I'm going to click on DocuSign here. That's going to update and take me over to the e-signature platform uh, within um, DocuSign. So there is transaction rooms and there's also the e-signature side of it as well. That's where we're in now to get these signs. So this opens up new envelope. Envelope is what we're going to be sending off the documents to. Uh, you can see as I have the envelope open here, it prompts me with a name for the envelope. The default is please DocuSign. Um, we'll go ahead and just update this. This is agency disclosure statement. Please sign. You'll see the documents are all in the envelope as ready, so that agency disclosure. If I wanted to add some additional documents, so ones that were already in this, so I can add the room documents, you'll see that I had that purchase contract was already sitting in the documents of the room as well. I could just add that in here right now and they'd be able to see that. So if there were specific documents that only had, say, signatures that are on them, this is an easy way to just throw them back into the loop as well without having to complete additional fields. If you had something like a listing agreement, residential work, worksheet or purchase contract on there that has more specific details you might have to manually add into the document. This is probably not going to be the best solution to just add them as you already have an envelope uh, assembled. So uh, we'll leave that one off for now. I can also add in some additional template documents too. Hopefully. There it goes. We've got a whole bunch of other templated documents too that could be added in. Uh, we'll go into a little bit more detail later so we better understand exactly the purpose of some of these documents. So we'll go ahead and close that out there. Uh, more, I can also add additional things to it uh, from Dropbox, Google Drive, or uploading directly from my device. So We have the agency disclosure there. That's the only one we'll send off. We have recipients for the envelope. So we have pre-tagged roles. So if I wanna say buyer, seller, um, actually see what that does. Yeah, buyer one, buyer two, seller one, seller two. Uh, no additional people are on that. I could, actually let's go back to that real quick. I could actually assign these to all those different spots. I could throw in uh, Donald Daisy as my buyer one, buyer two. Um, where's the mouse? Oh, there. Mickey and Minnie. They could be added this way as pre-tagged roles. I could also add them as room participants as well, being added to these documents. So I got Mickey, seller one, and Minnie, seller two. So we'll go ahead and add them in there. See this updates. This will show me add recipients to the envelope, and I can actually dictate the order in which they read documents. One unique, um, maybe. There we go. Mini signs. Mini signs at first. Ladies first. So. You'll see, and this is, seems a little different than dot loop did, where you send off the documents and you don't have any idea of what the order is in which they're going to sign these things. And sometimes the experience is a little shaky then for the person who receives it, where they go to open a document and says this document is actively being 
edited by another party, and they're going to get a, an error and have no idea when it's their turn to sign. What's kind of cool about DocuSign is it sends it in a sequential order. So if I say Mickey is not going to sign until Minnie's actually finished signing, I can update this and show this one and two order of that. So one first documents will get sent off to Minnie Mouse. Minnie's going to get prompted, and once she signs and confirms and it gets sent back to us, it's actually a send off to Mickey. So Mickey is allowed to start signing with no interference from somebody else having the documents open at all and be able to adjust those. I can also change this too for the permissions, needs to sign, needs to just view it, receives a copy, um, and then also specifying a different recipient as well. Uh, more add access authentication, so I might be able to add a code so if I'm sending off to them so if you want to keep your documents extra secure as well you might become come up with an access authentication for them this could be something like the last four somebody's social security number or their phone number so I'll close that out uh, you can also add a private message if I want to say something directly to many uh, first ladies first Mickey will just have to wait Spell Mickey Mouse, right? You think I know better with two kids? Uh, Mickey would just have to have to wait for us here. So, and go ahead and close that. That's going to be a private message being sent off to Minnie. Mickey's going to get those documents second after that. So here's my email. I think my face is in the way here. We'll move me over there. Email signature. So I, I did have that up there as a uh, envelope name. So actually, this is going to be when it was sent over. But we will envelope name this is going to be the actual message is sent off sign. please sign off on the agency disclosure statement when you get the chance thanks so what i would do make a copy of this delete it i would go ahead and click on next Actually, the very first time I sent this off, so we will see if there is legitimately a Mickey Mouse or Minnie Mouse at Disney.com, and we'll see what gets sent off to them here. We're going to reply back. This is going to be weird. Set in a couple of URLs here. All right, perfect. So it didn't actually send that off just yet. What it's going to actually do is prompt me first so I can go through and take a look at the documents, um, dropping in their signature fields here. So when I click on signature, I'm going to go ahead and drop that right here. I'm going to go ahead and resize that. So this is going to be the one for mini. Oh boy. Um, so formatting, scale, data label, tooltip, location. This is indeed a signature field, and you'll see that all the signatures that are for Minnie Mouse are going to be in yellow. All for Mickey are going to be in blue. Um, what's that signature? Weird. No. Go ahead and delete that one. All right, looks like we got a little bit of a resize there. This is pixels top location recipient. All right, good. Add second set of fields here. This one's going to actually actually be signed to Mickey. It's kind of nice that when you go through here and look at making sure that you've all set these is the fact that Minnie's is yellow and Mickey's is blue. So if you went through or scrolling through looking at all your different spots for signing, and you came across and there's two yellows when you know that that should be one buyer and second buyer, one seller and second seller, you can quickly kind of note that they are two different ones. I'll actually send them two as they're going through these little like highlighting tabs as far as which documents are actually containing signatures on them as well. So we will go ahead and recipient preview. Let's see what this is gonna look like for them. Move myself to the other side of the screen. Okay. So you're gonna go ahead and see the see the scroll down. Oh, looks like I only got one. So this is on the recipient view for what Minnie Mouse is gonna see. This is what Mickey is gonna see. This too, because you might have like a primary borrower buyer on it. You might have some secondary 
second there. Uh, somebody that only needs to sign like one or two things, you can kind of make sure and go through that, okay, sure that okay, one or two signatures or initials are showing up, whereas the other person that's doing all the primary, primary signing is going to have all their show up. You can kind of see how their experience is going to be a little different. So here, now Mickey has got the lower seller one, and Minnie had the higher one that was in there. I can also switch this too to see how it looks in different views. So this is the desktop view. See what it would look like as a tablet view or a smart view. Phone, yeah, phone. Yeah. Not so much different, but this is what they would look like in their different environments. Perfect. Uh, so that was the views. We'll go back here. Last step would be going ahead and hitting send. I'm really not sure if there's a Mickey Mouse at Disney.com or a Minnie Mouse at Disney.com, and I'm too afraid to find out if there is. So sending this off, they'd be like, why am I getting this agency disclosure statement? Ho uh ho. -huh. Um, so I'm not going to do that, but you get the general idea of what it looks like sending off documents.